Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, friends, this is exactly why they silenced Trump. This is exactly why Twitter and Facebook banned him. They banned him because he's a threat to their power, but more importantly, he is a threat to their narrative. All the media seems to ever report on is potential incriminating evidence involving the president. Of course, in relation to January 6th and the January 6th committee, seems only interested on the anti-Trump aspect of their investigation. But what about the evidence and the testimony that completely exonerates the president? Well, that's exactly what they don't want you to hear. Here. That is exactly what Don Lamont, Joy Reid, Rachel Maddow, Stephen Colbert, and the rest of them will never tell you and will never report on. And that is the same thing with the whole Russia narrative. That's why they want to shut Donald Trump up. That's why they want to ban him. Ban him from having his voice heard on social media. And of course, subsequently ban him from being able to run for office by charging him criminally. Of course, they want to stop him because they don't want you to hear this. Former President Donald Trump on Hannity's show absolutely blew up Nancy Pelosi's January 6th narrative, which frankly flips the whole thing on its head. And let me show you guys exactly what I mean, but before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, hidden from non-subscribed viewers. And with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, take a look at this piece right over here from Gateway Pundit. Case closed. President Trump on January 6th says, I authorized the National Guard on January 6th. Nancy Pelosi turned it down. Is, did you authorize as required by law the calling up of of up to 20,000 uh, National Guard troops on January the 4th and maybe even other occasions uh, in the lead up to what will, everybody knew would be a big rally and every big rally I guess you always have bad actors but on the heels of the rioting 574 riots in the summer of 2020 that killed dozens injured thousands of cops and caused billions of property damage did you authorize calling up the guard and then it became uh, the chain of command went to Nancy Pelosi and to the mayor of D.C. Muriel Bowser. Did you, as required by law, authorize that? One hundred percent and attested to by many people. And they turned it down. Nancy Pelosi turned it down. I guess they both did, but Nancy Pelosi turned it down, and she's in charge of the Capitol. So they run the Capitol, the security of the Capitol. If you had 10,000 or 20,000, but if you had 10,000, if you had 5,000 soldiers wrapped around the Capitol, you would have had no January 6th as we know it. There would have been no problem whatsoever, but they turned it down which tells you everything. It was three days before. I think how, how, many, how many times did you three request it? How many times specifically do you remember or recall requesting it? And now the chairman of the committee has said Nancy Pelosi is off limits. That means the sergeant of arms is off limits. Who would report to her? Uh, Muriel Bowser is not being uh, subpoenaed. Uh, from my understanding, none of their communications are being subpoenaed. Um, if the purpose of the committee is to prevent this from ever happening again, wouldn't those be the people that you need to ask? Because if you had 20,000 troops, I agree with you. I don't think this, that day would have happened. Now, truly, this side of the argument would be brought up if Nancy Pelosi's 1-6 commission was actually bipartisan. But of course, we know it's not bipartisan. It's a political witch hunt, a partisan scam. And this is exactly why I've been saying since the start that Donald Trump is not the one that needs to be investigated. The individuals who need to be investigated are Nancy Pelosi and D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser. And we have seen a very similar scenario play out before. During Donald Trump's alleged photo op at St. John's Church in Washington, D.C., there was outcry from the left claims that Donald Trump had unleashed federal forces on peaceful protesters in Lafayette Square, tear gassing them so that he can walk through and take a picture in front of the St. John's Church holding up a Bible, which of course turned out in the end that it wasn't Donald Trump, but it was actually D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser who sent in the police force to clear the park. And it's the exact same thing happening. The claim is that Donald Trump is guilty of fomenting an insurrection. He was somehow the evil mastermind who orchestrated and organized the entire thing. When it turns out in reality, Donald Trump had approved increased security at the Capitol, and allegedly, at least what's being accused here, is that Nancy Pelosi and D.C. 
Tennessee Mayor Muriel Bowser once again seemed to be behind some sort of political plot to frame the president. I mean, really, would it be surprising at this point? To be completely honest, any time I hear Donald Trump accused of anything by any of these Democrat loons, my mind instantly goes to hoax. It's the tale of the boy who cried wolf, continuously crying wolf over and over again until the villagers just don't fall for it anymore and when there's an actual wolf, they aren't there to help him. The Washington establishment and Democrats have cried wolf so many times when it comes to Donald Trump, they have claimed that he's done so many different things that he's definitely going to jail this time, we're definitely going to impeach him this time, and every single time it was nothing but a hoax. And we're supposed to believe that this time it's genuine, that Donald Trump orchestrated a siege of the Capitol. There is absolutely no evidence to suggest that Donald Trump had orchestrated the entire thing. In fact, what we understand right now suggests the exact opposite. Based on what we have heard from both sides, the only thing that needs to be investigated is whether or not Donald Trump's claim that D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi refused Donald Trump's request for increased Capitol security, were the Democrats trying to play 3D chess, leaving the Capitol vulnerable, and then planting agitation in the crowd to agitate the mob, use mob mentality, to cause the events that occurred. I'm more prone to believe that possibility than Donald Trump being criminally responsible and being the mastermind of the events themselves, at least based on what we know right now. Still, nobody can explain who Ray Epps is, as well as other individuals. Nobody can explain why Capitol Police officers opened the gates and the barricades, frankly had no real barricades, nothing but flimsy concert barricades, and just ushered people into the building. Nobody could explain that. And of course, what is more suspicious is how Democrats are hanging on to this January 6th narrative for dear life. Almost as if they've created this narrative for themselves politically, and are now married to it and have absolutely nothing else, and continue to mention it. It's the same thing as the phony orchestrated January 6th narrative, that once again turned out to be a hoax, started and paid for by the DNC, and then of course, pushed as the single most important talking point for Democrats throughout nearly the entirety of Donald Trump's first term. The whole thing has been sensationalized and politicized, and of course if you guys follow Mark Dice and you know about Operation Mockingbird, Operation Mockingbird is an alleged large-scale program of the United States Central Intelligence Agency that began in the early years of the Cold War and attempted to manipulate news media for propaganda purposes. Well, now all of a sudden, Deadline Hollywood tweets out, the January 6th assault on the U.S. Capitol, considered the worst attack on democracy since the Civil War, will be the subject of a feature film scripted and directed by Billy Ray exclusive. Well, now these Hollywood Democrat shills are even making a movie about it. I mean, what is there even to make a movie about? They're most likely going to completely exaggerate the events. It's going to fall flat and become a mockery. Oh, and actually this just in as I'm recording this video, at the top of the Twitter trending tab, once again shows the bias of this platform and how they manipulate their what's happening tab. There is no evidence that Donald Trump requested troops to secure the Capitol or consulted Pelosi ahead of January 6th insurrection, fact checkers say. How can you fact check something by just saying there's no evidence of? There's no evidence of a whole lot of things. It doesn't mean you can definitively state whether they're true or false. Once again showing the bias that corporate media is not interested into digging whether or not Donald Trump's statement was accurate or not, but would rather just debunk it and protect the precious Democrat narrative of the supposed insurrection. Another witch hunt, and if what Donald Trump is saying is true, then once Republicans win the House back in 2022, Nancy Pelosi and D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser must be investigated immediately. That's what I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share it as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, hidden from non-subscribe viewers. I'm going to get back to work, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.